uh, welcome back uh, to this lesson to KIPS Academy. Uh, in this lesson, uh, we are going to to discuss uh, this topic, Mason uh, formula. So, in this lesson, we are going to talk in length what is all about the Mason formula. As uh, earlier on, when we were doing the converting the block diagram uh, to signal flow graph, uh, we were saying um, what can help us to get the overall gain or the closed loop or the transfer functions of a system was this formula. So there is no any other way we can get the transfer functions apart from using the Mason formula. So uh, from the from the definitions of a control system, the transfer functions, we know that the transfer function to any system uh, the transfer functions or we call it the overall uh, overall gain uh, is usually given by this formula Cs all over that is equals to the G S all over one plus or minus G S H S. That is a formula that we uh, derive um, in some other uh, lessons. So the Mason uh, formula, which we are going to to come up with, uh, we are going to base it on this one, that formula. So. We can say the transfer function, we can take T, TS, stand for the transfer functions to be equal to CS all over RS, which is equal to this, CGS all over 1 plus or minus GSH that. That's a general uh, formula. It's a general formula. So according to the Mason. Uh, formula it states that um, overall gain or the transfer functions of any system transfer functions of a system is given by a one all over delta the summations of the forward bar that is a pk multiplied by delta k. So the, the formula will be t equals to 1 over delta the summations of k, p, and then delta k. So let's start explaining what this can start with. There. So this, that sign is the summations. k is the, the forward bar. How many forward bar in a signal flow graph? So B, uh, B is usually uh, PK uh, stand for the forward, the forward K. It's a forward, forward gate, uh, forward gate, you can say of K forward band. Now, so these are forward forward gains of K. So how many uh, forward bands of that signal can have? So we are taking as a general general number to be K. So K is the number of the forward band. We can have two uh, forward band, we can have three. So so in short we say PK, which is the forward gain of K forward band. Then secondly is the delta. Delta is equal to one minus the sum of individual individual gain plus 
sum of sum of two and I think I think loops plus sum of three nan I think loops so delta delta is given by saying want minus the sum of individual uh, individual uh, individual gains individual gains plus the sum of two non touching loops plus the sum of three non touching loops and it continues like that it, it continues so it depends on the number of the the loops which are found of which you can get from the signal flow graph so that data is given by that one minus the sum of individual gates uh, plus the sum of two non touching loops plus sum of three non touching loops that will give us the delta now dk delta k delta k is given by uh, is given by one minus the loop gains a minus the loop gains which uh, the loop gains which are not which are not uh, which are not touching uh, which are not touching gay what but So delta k is given by this the loop gains, uh, the loop gains which are not touching the k forward path, k forward path. That is the so that is the Masson uh, formula. So when you are told to determine the the overall gain, or the gain, when you are given a signal flow graph, then you are supposed to use this formula. And the formula is given by T, which is 1 over delta, summation of K, the um, forward uh, multiplied by the forward gains uh, of the forward path, the number of the forward path multiplied by the, the delta K, which we can get by saying 1 minus the loop gains. And in this case, uh, these are the loops. These are the loops which are not touching the forward band. Which are not touching the forward band. So let's see an example. We have created a complex one. So we can have five knots, two, three, four, five. <coughs> one, two, two, three, four, five. The looking quant G1, G2, 1, and then the, we can have a loop coming to 1. We can have this one to be negative H1, 
we can also have another loop coming from 3 going to 1 this one we can have h2 that is h2 and we can also have a loop which is coming from 5 to 4 and uh, the gain will be negative h h3 then we are told determined the gain of the system this is a signal flow graph this is an example of a signal flow graph remember uh, by now we know how to come up with a signal a flow graph from the block diagram. Now, how do we determine the 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 gain of the system? But it is by the use of the Masson formula. And the formula was T which is equal to one all over delta, the summation of K, P K, and then delta K. So let's start with P. P, we were saying it is the forward path of the system. So the first thing to do is to determine the number of the forward path. When you are given a system, that you are supposed to determine the forward path. So based on what we have been given, then uh, we can determine the number of forward paths, the forward path. So from here, we are only seeing this one. There is only one forward part. There is only one forward part. So one forward part, we can just say B1 equals to. So one forward part, uh, the gain of that forward part, we have a one, the product of all this, a one, G1, G2, and then one. So the product of that will give us G1. G2. So we have only one forward part. Now the second thing the second thing which we are supposed to do is to determine the individual loops. To determine the gain of individual loops. So another one is the individual gain a gain of individual uh, loops. So the first ones, the first ones, we can say P1, uh, B1, B1, 1. We can start with these ones. This is one loop. This, one, this is the second loop. And this is the third loop. So a loop means it has got a forward bat and a feedback. That one forms a, it forms a, it forms a loop. So there is a forward band and a feedback. So this is the first one. So the the gain of the first one, uh, this one, we have one multiplied by this, which we are going to get a negative h one, and then p one two, we are going to get. So this we are going to get. So from here is g is one, and then g one, and then negative h two. So uh, the gate of that is going to be minus G1 uh, H2 and then lastly is this one so the gain is 1 and then down here we have got the H2 so B1 3 is, is equals to negative H H3 so we are through with that uh, we are through with that one then you yeah, are uh, the second thing is to determine the sum of the sum of uh, the sum of uh, the gain the gain uh, gain then you say sum of two nine now I think loops so sum of Nantachi sum of two of Nantachi loops so we can now say B two one then we now when we say 
sum of two of non-touching loops. It means these are the loops which are not touching each other. So we, are, we want to determine two loops which are not touching each other. What we mean, those loops should not be sharing common nodes. They are not supposed. So non-touching, non-touching means not sharing, not sharing nodes. So they are not sharing nodes. Like for example, we have this node, this, this loop and this one, they are sharing the, the node. So this one and this ones cannot qualify to fall here. Then, when you compare these ones and this one, then this one and this one, they are not sharing the nodes. And then also this one and this one, they are not sharing the node. So we have to, we have to want this one and this one, and then this one and this one. So we've got the two non-touching loops. So we can uh, finish with that one, two. Uh, we can start with this one, hedge one, uh, this one, and this one. So this one was uh, H1 multiplied by H3. So H1 negative and negative H3 will give us H1 H H3. Now this one and this one. This one and the other one. So we say P2 2 should give us so H1 which is G1 and this one so negative and negative will cancel so we shall have G1 H this was 2 H2 and H3 and H3 then mm, the last thing to do is to look at so we are now through with this. Now the, the second thing is to look for the gain. That is the sum of two now touching the three now. When we look at this, we don't have uh, three uh, loops which are not touching. We have these two which are touching. We don't have uh, three non touching loops. So we end there. So what we are supposed to look at now, yet lastly, is delta k. Delta k is given by 1 minus we are saying uh, delta k is equal to 1 minus the loop gates uh, which is not touching the forward bar. So we are supposed to look at to determine the total k or the loop gates which are not touching the forward part. When we look at our signal flow graph here all this feedback or all those loops are touching the, the forward band. This one is touching the forward band. This one is touching the forward band. This one is touching the forward band. So all those loops are touching the forward band. So what we are going to get, we are going to get 1 minus 0, which is going to be 1. So, so from there, then now we can substitute the formula. We can erase this. So our transfer functions, our transfer function is going to be uh, uh, this one, that is the sum of the forward part. We add only this one, which is B. So it's going to be G1, G2, all over. Uh, uh, all over the uh, all over the so one plus uh, one plus remember the the delta was one minus we add all this. So remember all these are positive uh, 
negative. So it's going to be plus. So it's going to be plus H1 plus H2. Not H2, but G1H2 plus H3. And then plus, we go now with this one, plus this one's now, the sum of the two non-touching loops, which is going to be H1, H3 plus uh, G1, H2, H, H3. So, so the way I think, so that, it, that one, this is equals to this. So we are going to write that H1 plus uh, plus G1 H2 plus H3 plus H1 plus uh, H1 H3 plus G1 H2 H3 and that one is going to be our answer. So our transfer function is going to be G1 G2 all over 1 plus H1 plus uh, G, G1 H2 plus H3 plus H1 plus H3 plus G1 H3 H2, H3. So we got the transfer functions by the help of the Mason formula. So let me just maybe to, to summarize what we, we have talked of. We say the Mason formula is given by this. And this is the delta. And how do we get this? We get by saying 1 minus minus the sum of individual gains plus the sum of two non-touching loops plus the sum of three non-touching uh, loops and so forth. Now K uh, gay is the, the the gain of the forward band. So K is the number of the the number of the forward band. Uh, delta K um, is given by 1 minus the loop gains the loop gains uh, of those ones which are not touching the forward part of the one which are not touching the forward part so that is that so I want you to uh, to refine this on your own you look for more problems and when you have a patient you write uh, to make down there uh, you give a comment and uh, when you have a question of course you write down and you send it to me and we shall be able to work out together so this person uh, formula is very important it helps us to to get the transfer functions of a complex uh, block diagrams uh, and uh, of course after re reducing it or after converting it into signal flow graph. So after that we can meet next time.